Welcome to another fascinating segment of Wally's nursing videos. In this section, we're diving headfirst into the intricate world of drugs affecting the respiratory system. Here, we'll unravel the secrets behind medications that shape the way we breathe, tackling conditions from nasal congestion to allergic responses and asthma. Drug Therapy for Nasal Congestion and Cough In this chapter, we're delving into the art of managing nasal congestion and cough. The airways, often susceptible to irritations and blockages, can be alleviated using various medications. Mechanisms of action, decongestants, such as pseudoephedrine, work by narrowing blood vessels in the nasal passages, reducing swelling and congestion. Antitussives, like dextromethorphan, suppress the cough reflex in the brain. Expectorants, such as guaifenesin, loosen mucus and facilitate its removal from the respiratory tract. Commonly used drugs, pseudoephedrine, decongestant, dextromethorphan, antitussive, guaifenesin, expectorant. Side effects. Decongestants may lead to increased heart rate, nervousness, and elevated blood pressure. Antitussives like dextromethorphan can cause dizziness and sedation. Expectorants may result in gastrointestinal upset and rash. Contraindications. Decongestants should be avoided in patients with uncontrolled hypertension and hyperthyroidism. Antitussives like dextromethorphan may not be suitable for patients taking MAO inhibitors. Expectorants should be used cautiously in patients with renal impairment. Understanding these mechanisms, potential side effects, and contraindications empowers healthcare professionals to tailor therapy for respiratory comfort and symptom relief. Chapter 32. Drug Therapy to Decrease Histamine Effects and Allergic Response. In this chapter, we're delving into the world of managing allergic responses by targeting the effects of histamine, a key player in allergies. Mechanisms of action, antihistamines, like loratadine, block histamine receptors, reducing allergic symptoms such as itching, sneezing, and runny nose. Intranasal corticosteroids, such as fluticasone, alleviate inflammation in the nasal passages, reducing congestion and discomfort. Commonly used drugs, loratadine, antihistamine, fluticasone, intranasal corticosteroid. Side effects. Antihistamines might cause drowsiness, dry mouth, and blurred vision. Intranasal corticosteroids can lead to nasal irritation, nosebleeds, and headache. Contraindications. Antihistamines should be used cautiously in elderly patients and those with glaucoma. Intranasal corticosteroids should be avoided in patients with active nasal infections. Understanding these mechanisms, potential side effects, and contraindications equips healthcare professionals to provide effective relief to patients struggling with allergic responses. Chapter 33, Drug Therapy for Asthma and Bronchoconstriction. In this chapter, we're venturing into the dynamic landscape of managing asthma and bronchoconstriction, where medications play a pivotal role in improving respiratory function. Mechanisms of action, bronchodilators, such as albuterol, relax the muscles in the airways, opening them up and improving airflow. Inhaled corticosteroids, like fluticasone, reduce inflammation in the airways, preventing asthma symptoms. Leukotriene modifiers, such as Montelukast, block the action of leukotrienes that cause inflammation and constriction of the airways. Commonly used drugs, albuterol, bronchodilator, fluticasone, inhaled corticosteroid, Montelukast, leukotriene modifier. Side effects. Bronchodilators might lead to increased heart rate, tremors, and nervousness. Inhaled corticosteroids can cause oral thrush and hoarseness. Leukotriene modifiers might result in headache, gastrointestinal upset, and mood changes. Contraindications. Bronchodilators should be used cautiously in patients with heart conditions and arrhythmias. Inhaled corticosteroids should be avoided in patients with active fungal infections in the mouth. Leukotriene modifiers are contraindicated in acute asthma attacks. Understanding these mechanisms, potential side effects, and contraindications empowers healthcare professionals to tailor asthma management, enhance patient respiratory function, and improve overall quality of life. As we wrap up our exploration of drugs affecting the respiratory system, let's shine a spotlight on some frequently used medications from each chapter and offer tips on how to identify them effortlessly. These medications are essential tools in managing respiratory conditions and improving patients' breathing comfort. Drug therapy for nasal congestion and cough commonly used drugs, pseudoephedrine, decongestant, dextromethorphan, antitussive, guaifenesin, expectorant, identification tip. Decongestants like pseudoephedrine often have pseudofed in their name. Antitussives like dextromethorphan are recognized by their longer name, and expectorants like guaifenesin usually end in phenicin. 
Drug therapy to decrease histamine effects and allergic response commonly used drugs. Loratadine, antihistamine, fluticasone, intranasal corticosteroid. Identification tip. Antihistamines like loratadine often have an adini ending, while intranasal corticosteroids like fluticasone are recognized by their zone suffix. Drug therapy for asthma and bronchoconstriction commonly used drugs. Albuterol, bronchodilator, fluticasone, inhaled corticosteroid, Montelukast, leukotriene modifier. Identification tip. Bronchodilators like albuterol often have an OL ending. Inhaled corticosteroids like fluticasone end in SON, and leukotriene modifiers like Montelukast often have Monty in their name. As you encounter these medications in practice or study, keep these identification tips in mind to quickly grasp their therapeutic roles. Understanding the mechanisms, side effects, and contraindications of these medications empowers you to provide optimal respiratory care and enhance patient well-being. As we conclude our journey through drugs affecting the respiratory system, remember that each medication holds the potential to provide relief, comfort, and improved well-being to patients struggling with respiratory challenges. Stay tuned for more enlightening insights on Wally's nursing videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell to join us on this educational adventure. Together, we're nurturing the knowledge that empowers you to make a difference in the world of healthcare. Keep learning, keep caring, and keep shining as a healthcare professional. Until next time, take care.